When your fetch box gets stuck on the starting screen, it usually means the device cannot load its operating system properly. This is a common issue that can have several different causes. There are five main reasons why your fetch box might be stuck on the starting screen. Let's examine each of these causes to help you understand what might be going wrong. First, power supply problems are very common. This includes faulty power adapters, loose connections, or using power boards and double adapters, which can cause voltage issues. Second, HDMI connection problems can prevent the display from working properly. This includes loose cables, wrong input sources, or damaged HDMI ports. Third, hard drive issues can prevent the operating system from loading. The internal storage may be corrupted or failing, which stops the boot process. Fourth, overheating can cause the system to malfunction or shut down during startup. Poor ventilation around the device leads to excessive heat buildup. Finally, software glitches and bugs can prevent the system from starting properly. These are often temporary issues that can be resolved with the right troubleshooting steps. Important note, if you were an IINet customer using Fetch services, these ended on January 22, 2025. You'll need to contact your new provider for alternative solutions. Now that you understand the common causes, the next step is learning how to troubleshoot each of these issues systematically. The first and most effective troubleshooting step is power cycling your fetch box. This resolves many hardware and freezing issues by completely resetting the device. Next, check your HDMI connections. Ensure the cable is properly connected, try different HDMI ports on your TV, and use an HDMI 2.0 or higher specification cable for best results. Connect your fetch box directly to a wall outlet instead of using power boards or double adapters. This ensures stable power supply and eliminates potential power-related issues. If previous steps don't work, try a factory reset using your remote. For a soft reset, press red, green, yellow, blue. For a hard reset, press blue, yellow, green, red. Warning, this will erase all settings and recordings. Ensure your fetch box has adequate ventilation to prevent overheating. Make sure there's sufficient airflow around the device and that vents are not blocked. Test your fetch box on another TV or monitor to determine if the issue is with the box itself or your display. This helps isolate the problem. If you're using Wi-Fi, try connecting your fetch box directly to your modem or router using an Ethernet cable. This eliminates potential wireless connectivity issues. If you see a critical hardware fault error message, a hard factory reset may be required. Remember that power cycling is often the most effective solution for hardware and freezing issues.